Yeli takar tixas varna. Yeli takar tixas varna. And what's up, boys? And welcome. And this is no slight exaggeration, and I know I said it as early as yesterday with the Erling Braut Holland card, but welcome to one of the maddest cards that we have ever received in any FIFA, maybe ever. Oh my god! If that's not hyping up a video to be absolutely disappointing, I don't know what is. But for real, this card looks absolutely nuts. Who is he? So this year, the Croatian League is a brand new league to FIFA, which sees us gets the like of Dynamo Zagreb player as, lo as well as a couple other uh, as well as a couple other clubs. And uh, lo and behold, this guy Mislav Orsic goes ahead and gets himself an inform um, for Dynamo Zagreb. Has himself a 73 base silver card, has a 79 inform, and this card got jacked off all the way up to an 82. And some of the stats are just it doesn't make sense. The card just absolutely doesn't make sense. But we're about to dive into it, boys. We're gonna showcase. One one of the craziest cards I don't think I've had is I don't think I've had as many people uh, ask me like for yesterday when I uploaded the Erling Braut Holland episode everyone in the comments was like wait do the Orsic do the Orsic do the Orsic and I didn't know what you guys were talking about then I did a little bit of deep diving and then I went on Twitter and I saw holy smokes everyone is uh, everyone and their mother is talking about this Mislav Orsic card and he looks absolutely insane the main reason people were talking about him was his price range he was extinct I tried to search for him for about an hour that's why the episode on Braut Holland was so late last night um, tried to search for this card for an hour. Alas, it took EA about three hours, so they got it done in the end and expanded his price range to, I believe, 120,000 coins, which meant that I was able to buy him now, currently 2 a.m. East Coast time, United States, for 88,000 coins. Um on the uh, on the main account this card is probably going to be dirt cheap come maybe friday or saturday i think it's probably gonna probably gonna crash well below 40 or 50 thousand coins um would imagine he's gonna probably end up going for what an 82 should be which is around 25 30 uh whether uh, how fast it's gonna get there i don't know but currently just bought him for 88 000 coins um and i'm gonna have to judge him on that value because that's how much he goes for right now but before we go any further boys like i always say and you guys have been asking for this i even got on the uh even got on the creation national team kit if these episodes are entertaining or help you in some way shape or form figure out if you want to try out this card or maybe this is too maybe the card's too expensive for you and you can't afford it uh and this video helps you in some way shape or form figure out if you want to maybe do uh maybe get it, your hands on this card drop a mad lad like on the video as usual as well if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below so we're gonna get into it like we always do we're just gonna dive right into it as a youtuber would say mislav orsic 26 years old, a 271 total in-game stat upgrade over his uh, silver card. He's got 100 more total in-game stats. Now, this was kind of the wow value. This was kind of the wow factor stat that was going around Twitter yesterday. 100 more total in-game stats than player of the month, Aubameyang. Obviously, he's got 59 defending versus Aubameyang's 38 defending. So, a lot of those stats, the, a lot of those 100 stats are included in the bump up from that 38 to 59 defending. However, I will say... He's got more acceleration, more shot power, more long shots, better curve, better balance, better agility, better stamina, and then better dribbling. And some of those stats are significantly boosted. Shot power and long shots, he's got, I believe, plus 10 shot power over player of the month of Bamiyang. And then has something like... um. Sorry, plus 10 long shots, and then plus 7 or plus 7, eight, uh, plus 8 shot power over it. Uh, curve, he's got significantly more. Balance, it's 90 plus. I, I don't know why I'm not showing you guys the stats. 98 agility, 95 balance. Like, what even is that? And then freaking 84 dribbling. But then the, dribbli uh, the dribbling stat in-game is obviously 82, uh, which is better than Aubameyang. So... Not really fair because Aubameyang, you know, he's four star, four star, not really known as like a dribbling type of guy. He's more of a speed demon, but that doesn't take anything away from the fact that Mislav Orsic is a speed demon in his own right. More acceleration, like I said, doesn't have as much sprint speed, but 95 is absolutely rapid. 85 finishing, 79 composure gets jacked off with the sniper chem style, which I think is the perfect one to apply to him. Uh, gets his uh, gets his dribbling stats pretty much jacked off all the way. Um, and then the shooting stats, my God, 91 shot power, 92 long shots already. So we don't even need to touch those. And then 85 finishing goes all the way up to 99 uh, with the sniper chem style. So just an absolutely incredible card. And best part of all, uh, you would expect a card like this maybe to have like three star, three star. He's got a four star weak foot. So you can play him at left strike. <laughs> oh my God. Creation Link gives him the, the big one up over Braut Erling Holland, uh, and then the Creation Link is a big selling point and a big boost to his value because obviously if you ran like a 4-3-3, you could, you could put Brozovic and Ante Rebic, build out a Serie A side, and you're good to go. You're Gucci. Um, so uh, very, very interesting to see indeed. And then also in Liga Santander, are there any Creation strikers? If you get a Mislav Orsic in your red player picks, I would go so far as to say that you should be very, very happy because he might just be one of the best super subs, 
Not even super sub, because if you do a Serie A squad, you could possibly start him, like I said, alongside an Ante Rebic, Brozovic, keep Brozovic in the game, and then just literally bring on any striker in place of Ante Rebic, but... Just looks like an absolutely incredible card. And like I said, we're going to play him at left striker. Let's get into match number one, Hravatska. We're going to pretend like this was an SBC and we're going to open up, uh, we're going to open up some, uh, some Prime Electrum players packs and Mega Packs after this. Okay. Okay, so he got past, uh, he got past Virgil van Dijk. The hills of Al Jaid rang with the sounds of Dynamo Zagreb. And today would be the day that a legend was born. Ahora perfecto! Es que es increíble! Ref? Decent finish. I'm not going to say that every... Okay, I mean, like, look, we're not going to overhype it. I'm not going to say that there's a, you know, Lautaro Martinez probably going to score that as well. Um, but we're already up to, what is that, two goal contributions? That fir the first match was really boring. And all set, is okay, now that is... Now that's indicative of the kind of card that we're expecting to play with right there. The turning ability didn't even do any skill moves, and I'm wondering if that's to play with. Uh, I'm wondering if that's to play with Orsic. Don't even need to do the body feint, just literally because his agility and balance is so crazy. Just like turn with the left analog stick. To use him as a striker i may have to use him as a not only a super sub 22 minutes in and he's got himself a hattie i might have to use this guy in the week of the, but again right now 88,000 coins is way too much to spend he's too much of a volatile asset right now he could at any moment he could go down to like 35 40 000 coins he could sink down to below 20. bro what is this card <laughs> It's happening, isn't it? <laughs> it's currently 2.30 a.m. in the morning. You know what I'm thinking about? Ordering McDonald's from Uber Eats. Oh, he almost had the body fit. Was that... Don't tell me that was Jan Oblak. Was that Jan Oblak that pulled off that move? We got a 3-3 thriller, and Mesut Ozil just banged one off his right foot. <laughs> Mesut Ozil just banged him off his weak foot. Zamton FC, best of luck to you. You're going to need it after I'm about to freaking wreck you out. Oh my god! Micro dribbling, and then the finish. And that's a pen. What the no, Outside the box. And you just kissed him. Did you just kiss Socrates? Sanchez up in front of him. Sanchez peeling off. Ozil wants it back. I'm so angry I could spit. He chose the wrong time to go into a game. He chose the wrong day to press X or A on his controller to advance to the game. If I lose this division rivals match, I will eat an almond and end my No Nut November. I literally had a notification go off on my phone, and I'm so easily distracted by anything in the entire world that I looked over. Why, why the f- Dude, I am such a little idiot! I don't even have any nuts! I can't end No Note November because I have no nuts! Nuts! I can't end No Note November because I have no nuts!
Match number two. Rewatska. Yeah, give him yellow. Is that a red? That's a red card. Get him off the pitch. Cards. Towards its connection, he's not gonna miss that. What a dude, you fuel the power when you take a shot with this guy. Five goal contributions in, in two matches so far for uh, for the Croatian Mad Lab. Walcott, he's not gonna miss that either. 2 0, are we getting a rage quit here? He'll either go through, um, I mean, I guess go through is really the only way to describe it. He'll go through the defender, and and come up, come out on the other side with the, uh, come out on the other side with the ball. See what I mean? He comes through on the other side. I mean, I didn't finish the, those last two skill runs. I didn't finish them. I mean, call them skill runs. You only so much you can do with a with a three star skiller, um, but. Uh, Absolute mad lad, and I, I and I can I, I get it. We're kind of ganging up on a guy who's down to ten men, and when you got a guy like Orsic, see what I mean? He just comes out with the ball. You can't take the ball off of him. He's crazy. You just literally just run around the pitch, and the ball is glued to his feet. Again. Stop it. Bro, this card is mad. We got a 2-0 victory. We absolutely beat this guy up. But um, that's not going to take away from the fact that this card did some things that we haven't seen on the pitch yet. And all from an 82-rated inform card. Uh, he has been... He's been pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. He's been really, really fun to use. Here we are with our Rivals rewards that I promised you guys. Uh, we've got some Premium Electrum Players Packs. We're going to pop these open as I do the uh, as I do the player rating. Now, in terms of value, 88,000 coins is what he's going for right now, and that's really, really expensive. And for the life of me, I couldn't give this anything more than a 4, so I am going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, it'd be a perfect 5 if he goes down to his 25,000 price range. But in terms of performance on the pitch, he just lived up to the hype. He was incredible. I think it was something like 6 or 7 goal contributions in 2 matches played. Uh, so I am going to give him a 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to refrain from giving him the perfect one. I think I'm going to reserve that for... You know, maybe if he had four-star skill moves as well, but going to give him a four and a half out of five in terms of performance on the pitch. Frank, he lived up to expectations. So we're going to open this last mega pack. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And I had to get you guys this Mislav Orsic episode. But like I said, boys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We'll catch you guys for another upload soon. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Hravatska. <laughs>